I've been taking a couple of months off from dating just because I needed to work through some things. One book, y'all, that I did not like, and tell me if you've read it, dug in and been willing to do the work. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Crystal and I post lifestyle content. If this is your first time watching a video, I would love if you subscribed to the channel, gave this video a thumbs up, and turned on your post notification. So y'all, I'm super excited because today I have my September monthly reset for y'all. And I'm just really excited to get back to these. I think I missed the past two months just because life has been so hectic. But I'm back y'all, I'm super pumped. I have some tea in these little glasses that were my grandma's. And y'all I'm cracking it because I got these glasses from my grandma's house when she passed away. And I thought they were like antiques. Why today did I get one of these plates out? And it's from freaking Home Goods. <laughs> I'm thinking I got this nice fine china and it's like girl, it's just your granny's little cup from Home Goods. But it's very my style, so I love them so much. I'm still so grateful to be drinking from them. <laughs> but anyway, yeah y'all. Just so you know, these videos, how I normally like to do them, is first I talk about my goals for the month, my goals and intentions for the month, then I will talk about my budget recap for the previous month, and then I will talk about my budget for the future month, and just some of my favorite things. One thing that I learned, y'all, is that I need time to recharge. I sometimes forget how much of a low-key introvert I am, and I forget that I need to just slow down, chill allow my battery to recharge allow myself to regroup and then i can get out here and be successful like it just really hit me this month i had to take a week off from posting um i didn't do a lot of the videos that i wanted to do i missed a lot of my posting schedule because i was just pushing myself so much and then i like shut down i was like i just need to recharge so it's definitely really important i'm realizing that like every friday unless it's something super fun i don't want to go out Friday nights, I want to spend at home, relaxing, in a bubble bath or something, just chilling. Another thing I learned that is work-related is I learned how to use a computer program called Spotfire, which I'm really excited about. It's like a program that allows for you to slice and dice data, but it's pretty cool, and I'm just excited to be learning that. Another thing I learned, y'all, is that I need discipline. <laughs> so much of my life, I just kind of do what I want to do. I live a very carefree life, but I need to have some structure and some discipline in certain areas. Even simple things like just waking up a bit earlier. You know, having a time that I wake up every day, with the exception of the weekends. Just simple stuff like that. Making my bed in the mornings. I need to get some type of discipline and kind of parent myself in that regard. The things that I'm grateful for this month, y'all, are friendship. I just am really always amazed and so grateful when I think about the friends that I have in my life. Even more so now because I edit the vlogs and I get to see my interactions with friends and kind of relive them. And I'm like, wow, I'm so blessed to have these people. Like, <laughs> I am blessed. Another thing I'm really thankful for is to have a job that I love, y'all. Like, I think sometimes I forget that there are so many people that are at jobs that they hate, that they're not happy at. And me... Nine times out of ten, when I go to work, I am excited to go to work. I don't mind it. I might be a little sleepy, but I love what I do. And the last thing I'm grateful for, y'all, is therapy. I feel like I have really been having some breakthroughs recently, and I'm really appreciative of that. I really see the growth. When I started back therapy this time, I was really in a low point, and I did not think that I could be helped, to be honest. I was like, oh, no, this time... It's a wrap, honey. There's no helping this. But I have seen so much transformation and just really dug in and been willing to do the work. And it has really, really helped me so much. Now let's get into our September goals, our September missions. So the word of the month is discipline. And I always do this in every reset video, y'all. I want for y'all to take a second and right now in the comments, write what your word of the month is going to be. What is your theme for the month? So mine is discipline. And for me, that looks like showing up for myself the same way that I show up for my job. I don't know what it is about like work. I'm going to show up for work and do what I need to do because I know that like there's a gain from it. But sometimes like I don't realize how much of a gain there is in showing up for myself, being present for me. And that make, might not make sense to everybody, but like sometimes I literally forget like love yourself and be more committed to yourself than you are to a job <laughs> like girl what be committed to yourself 
So that is my word for the month. Now, y'all, let's get into my goals and intentions for the month. I break my goals down into four categories. Health, growth, social, and fun. So first for health, I have that I want to walk 11,000 steps daily in the month of September. If you don't know, in the month of August, we did a 10,000 step challenge on the channel. And y'all, I am so grateful for y'all. Like, I should have put that on there, actually. I'm so grateful. Over 300 people joined this challenge and joined the group and were engaged and just really it felt like community and it just gives me so much hope and optimism for this community that we're building with me sharing this journey of like weight loss. I feel like it's transforming into so much more and I'm just so grateful for that. So this month I want to level up. I want to do 11,000 steps instead of 10,000 steps and that seems like not much of a difference but let me tell y'all a lot of times I was fighting to get those 10,000 steps so it is a big change. The next goal I have is that I do want to drink 60 ounces of water, y'all. I have just not been drinking enough water. And instead of saying I want to take things away, I'm trying to take more of an approach of adding things, if that makes sense. So instead of taking away like, oh, I don't want to eat carbs or, oh, I don't want to eat sugar or, oh, I don't want to eat after this time. I'm saying, no, I want to add more water to my life. I want to add more walking to my life. So this month, I want to drink 60 ounces of water per day at least. And that's so little compared to the fact I used to drink a gallon with no problem. But my water game has just been so not on point lately. So I really, really want to drink water. The third goal that I have, y'all, is to do three morning workouts a week. Now, for me, that means between 5 and 6 a.m., I'm at the gym. And at first, I used to have a goal like I want to go five days a week to the gym at 5 a.m. That's just not realistic for me right now. And I'm really trying to practice making smart goals. <laughs> I sound like such a corporate America person. Those are my health goals. They're pretty straightforward. I did keep it very simple this month because like I said, I'm trying to really focus on overall health and not so much the number on the scale and not so much cutting things out of my diet or saying no to things instead i want to add things to my life add water add more walking and i do think that it's going to naturally help me improve the diet and things like that now for my growth goals y'all i will say that this month the month of august was really great for me i really did have some really positive growth in my life but I want to level up even more. So for September, the first goal is that I want to do three minutes of meditation per day. And I know three minutes seems pretty small, but I have heard a lot from people that meditate that when you first start out, three minutes is a good goal to have just to kind of like learn how to be with myself in silence and just kind of disconnect. So I think I'm going to try to do my meditation in the evening before I go to bed. But we will see how that goes. Um, I might do some guided meditation to start. So I'll let y'all know how that goes um, at the end of the month. And let you know if I found any apps or any tips or tricks that worked for me. Um, I do want to start morning journaling. I put that back on here. <laughs> I had it on here in July and I took it off because I was like, girl, what? This is not a goal that you should have because you don't ever do it. But I really do want to journal, y'all. I just feel like it'll really help for me to put stuff on the page and kind of just take it and take it out of my brain and like dump it on a page and not have it so filled up. I'm really trying to work through shame, y'all, and guilt. And I think part of what's going to help me with that is to write it down write it down and release it another thing that i want to do for growth is a 30 minute tidy daily in the mornings i want to make sure that i wake up early enough to tidy my house up for 30 minutes i notice that when i do this in the mornings i tend to be more consistent with it and i can like tend to keep my house cleaner longer so i really want to make that a goal that i am focused on and that is one of the big ones now for social and these are my social media goals y'all like this i want to get one week ahead of my content so that means that i want to have like my vlog for next week already edited a week in advance if that makes sense because it's really hard between working a nine to five having a social life and trying to stay consistent with my posting when I'm not ahead of schedule. It just makes it really, really difficult. And so I need to kind of get back to where I am posting 
I'm ahead. Like, I'm ahead with my recording. I'm ahead with my editing. Another goal I have, which I had to scale this back. I used to do three times a week. But now my goal is to post two times a week for the month of September. I just realized that three times a week is just too much for me to do with juggling a job, juggling a social life. And also I wanted to give good quality content. And I want to re- introduce like challenges and stuff to the channel because i really enjoy doing those and i know y'all enjoy watching those but it's hard when you're trying to do like three videos a week you don't have enough time you know sorry y'all i'm like sitting on the floor and my booty's starting to hurt <laughs> uh, another goal is that i want to go ahead and start planning my october fitness challenge I did decide to take the month of September off for like planning a challenge just because I want the next challenge y'all to be like leveled up. In my mind, I want for it to be a strength challenge. So I'm trying to like really figure it out, figure out how I'm going to bring my vision to life. I'm really blessed that the personal trainer in my gym said that he will help me out as far as like looking over my workouts that I've put together and I'm also taking the month of September to do the workouts because I would like to do them for a month and be able to show y'all the transformation that I make based on doing the workouts before I kick off the challenge if that makes sense I don't want to be like oh we're doing this challenge and it's gonna make you look better and you do it for 30 days and you're like girl I see no results so I've been doing it um already and I'm gonna continue to do it all the month of September to just see kind of how my body transforms doing it so yeah those are my social goals for the month big ones especially this challenge y'all i'm like nervous i'm just i'm afraid of it like i'm afraid <laughs> but i was also afraid to do the step challenge i kept telling my friend i'm like oh my gosh i hope we get to 50 people signed up i hope we get to 50 people signed up and then like literally within the first day i think there was over 100 people or something so just trust in <laughs> Trust in the process and knowing that I can pull this challenge off. I just have to put my mind to it. As far as fun, which y'all know I love to have some fun goals that I set to make sure that I'm doing something that's a little bit different with my social life. It's not just happy hours or going out. So the first thing is I want to do a picnic day in the park. I want to do a paint and sip. And my goal is to actually like get a couple of different friend groups together hopefully and seeing like how people invite a friend just to kind of like vibe and it'd be like ladies in the park painting and sipping that is my vision so I want to plan that um probably when I get back from my birthday trip so the later half of September just do that there's a bunch of beautiful parks that I've found since I've been walking so often I also want to have my cousins over for a girls night just because I haven't had the whole group together in a minute so I want to see if everybody can make it to my house we can do I'm trying to think of like a theme party to do based off TikTok. I thought it would be cute to do the different cocktails. Like everybody make a cocktail and we all try it. So I feel like my cousin Q will definitely help me plan that if you're watching this girl. <laughs> I think that'll be fun. And then the last thing y'all is that I want to get back on the dating train. <laughs> I've been taking a couple of months off from dating just because I needed to work through some things and just, you know, regroup, recoup. But now I feel like I'm back where I can go back out on dates. I have been talking to a couple of guys, but I need to like really get back into it, you know, be back open to the possibility. So, yeah, those are the goals, y'all, for the month. Now, let's get into the affirmations. If you are new here, I love to do an affirmation related to each category. And I want to challenge you to do the same. So, in the comment section right now, write down one affirmation related to a goal. And so, I'm going to show you an example. For example, one of my affirmations is, I have such great mobility and endurance because I've been walking 11,000 steps every day. That's my first affirmation. My second one is, I have worked on inner peace and decompressing by journaling. My third affirmation is, I am putting myself out there socially by bringing together different groups of friends. And my last affirmation is, my YouTube has grown to 20,000 subscribers because I posted consistently and used TikTok to drive engagement. So I love to do those. I love to have affirmations and I will actually look at these y'all throughout the month and kind of repeat them to myself i say them like positive affirmations almost like i affirm that these goals are going to happen and the results are going to be there because i'm reaching the goal okay y'all so now i'm going to get into my spending for the month of august 
Um, if you're new here, I do not share my income, but I do share like percentages of my income when it comes to bills. And then for my actual spending money and my YouTube money, I do share dollar amounts. But first of all, I'm going to recap August just so we can see what happened there. Um, I use YNAB, which is you need a budget and I love y'all. It's a great website. If you see my biggest category for the last few days of August or the last month, was eating out i spent 257.35 eating out that was 32 percent of my total income then the second was groceries which was 234.32 that was 32 percent of my total income um for a household i spent 153.76 and the reason that that's so high is because i did go to costco and do a big restock i probably go to costco like once a quarter and i buy toilet paper paper towels cleaning supplies cascade stuff so i just like to stock up and y'all know costco is very high but i just like to have that stuff in the linen closet to make sure that i don't have to keep going back and constantly buying it from walmart and everything like it's down there i have it supplied and ready to go then for gas i only spent 39.49 i don't know how i managed that because this is only the last 15 days of August. It's only one check. But I only spent $39.49, which is crazy. I don't know. For booze, I went to a pregame. So I did have to spend $36.44 because, you know, I didn't want to show up to the pregame empty-handed. So that's where that came from. And then the last category that I spent money on was books. And I spent $27.89 because I did get some new books. <laughs> <laughs> which I know is not the best but yeah y'all I spent $729.25 when I only budgeted $500 so life came in me fast <laughs> I made $494 from YouTube in August and with my YouTube money I don't really spend that on anything as of yet just because there's no need to so right now in that account I have 1923 plus 494 so if I put those both together, and I need to make a separate account, I'm going to actually add an account um, called YouTube, just so that we can be on the same page. Okay, yeah. Oh, that did not work. <laughs> that could be a totally different number <laughs> let me see let me do it like this I wish it was that much and for September right now all we have in there is my YouTube income which is 2417 but I'm going to go ahead and add a category for taxes um, because YouTube does not obviously it does not um, take out taxes so I'm gonna do 24.17 times 0.30 okay so 725 of that is for taxes that's a lot i'm doing more just in case i don't want to end up on money from this youtube money at the end of the year so i have 1691 left to budget in my youtube account as y'all know it is my birthday month in september so i'm going to the bahamas so just to keep it 100 with y'all i'm budgeting 800 dollars. really i'm lying i'm a budget 800 dollars of this youtube money for my birthday trip just off top i'm doing it sorry to you <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and budget 800 of that then as far as um beauty i'm gonna also take my beauty and get it take it from my youtube money this month my eyebrows will be 20. my hair i'm gonna go ahead and budget 200 for because i'm not quite sure what i'm doing yet lashes will be 100 and then clothes I really don't need to order any more clothes because I've ordered a lot. But just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and budget 200 from this YouTube money. So that leaves me 371 of my YouTube money left over that I should roll into October. But hopefully I don't end up spending $800 in the Bahamas. That would be kind of crazy because y'all, 
everything is already paid for like our activities are paid for our hotel is paid for our flights are paid for so all i really need to pay for is eating and clubbing and i should not spend 800 dollars. <laughs> and like the commuting that's all i have to pay for so if i spent 800 on that something went awry so we will do a recap once i get back from the trip um now i'm gonna go to my living and we're just gonna do a rough estimate y'all i'm not gonna go too into detail with this just because y'all know that it's hit or miss so for groceries for the month of september i give myself 500 dollars each check so i'm gonna give myself 200 dollars for groceries for gas i'm gonna give myself 160 because that's 40 dollars per week which is realistic for fun i'm going to give myself let's say 150 because, I mean, I'm going to the Bahamas. How much more fun do I need? <laughs> Household, I'm going to budget 50 for the month. Because I really shouldn't need that much. Um, you know what? For the household, I'm going to go ahead and do 100 just in case I need anything extra. And so, we should have $1,000 budgeted. Um, okay, so right now we only have 610 So, oh, you know what's missing, y'all? My favorite category, eating out. So for eating out, I'm gonna say $200. That gives my that gives me $50 a week, which is uh, questionable, but you know. And then since this is also gonna be for all of September, I'm gonna go ahead and put another 20 into my eyebrows, and I'm gonna go ahead and put another 100 into my lashes because I do have. Um, in September is Nigerian Independence Weekend. I live in Houston. It's going to be a vibe. <laughs> so I know I'm going to like want to have my brows done, my lashes done, just be all the way together. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I'm putting extra. So that's where we are right now, y'all. I will probably come back and hit this up a little bit more detailed. We'll do a mid-month September check-in. Or I might just do a shorts for like when I actually get my September paychecks. Just so we can see where I am. But y'all get the gist of it. The main expenses this month for me are my birthday trip. I really want to enjoy it. Um, and then expenses for my beauty for my birthday trip. And just, you know, really cutting back on my diet, on my eating out. So now y'all, I'm adding a little fun addition this month because if y'all don't know, I am a reader. <laughs> and I have three books this month that I'm going to be reading. So I just wanted to share those with y'all. This is like my reading list for the month. The first one y'all, and this is funny. So today I went to therapy and my therapist was like, oh, she was kept quoting Brene Brown. So she must've recently read some Brene Brown books because she kept quoting her. And she's like, before I left, she's like, you know what you should do? I want you to do this for homework. I want for you to get the book, The Gift of Imperfections and read that book read the two chapters and the next time you come in for a session we're going to talk about it and i was like i already have that book i've just never read it so this month i'm reading the gift of imperfections it's on my list and then another book i'm reading thanks to one of y'all that suggested it and i hate that i don't know who suggested it but one of you said that i should read atomic habits so i have already purchased it it gets delivered tomorrow so i'll be reading that as well for the month and i'm going to insert a picture of it so y'all can see what book that is and every all the books will also be linked down below and then the last book i'm reading y'all and don't mind it i have makeup all over this i don't know what this book has been through but i'm reading sylvia day's book one with you it's a crossfire novel it's a romance book y'all and she writes very steamy books so those are my three books that I am reading for the month <laughs> and I'm really excited. I'll probably end up reading some more, but you know, that's just the ones that I for sure have to read because I can't buy any new books until I read these. First, let's get into some of my favorite apps for the month of August. Number one, y'all, the Pacer app. If you do not have the Pacer app, what are you doing? Y'all, this walking challenge, when I tell you I am so sad that more of y'all did not join it. I'm hoping next time we can have like a thousand girls and guys because I didn't realize there was guys to watch. But y'all, it truly like the community was next level. And if you are part of the Pacer app group, go ahead and comment in the comment section how great the group is. Like, 
literally y'all i would not want to go out here and walk but i would get on our group and i would read the comments and i would get my butt up and go walk it would be 10 30 at night and i'm walking around my house getting my steps because it was just so inspiring to see women and men from all over the world we're all goal oriented we're all supporting each other and just making it happen so i loved that another app y'all that i really loved and if you're not christian you might want to fast forward <laughs> But um, it's a devotional app called The First Five. My friend Hunter actually suggested it to me. And it's by Lisa Turkist. It's her app. But it's a morning devotional. And y'all, this has just really been amazing for me. It has really been bringing me closer to God, which has been something that I've been struggling with a lot. Um, I've talked about it repeatedly in several videos, just kind of how my walk was not in the best place. But this app y'all the devotionals are just so clear they're so like to the point they're so poignant to what i'm dealing with right now like right now we're studying numbers also the community on there is great like um the first few days that i read it i was afraid to comment but then i was like girl comment so i started commenting and just conversations that i'm having with other women on there and about you know different struggles and different perspectives it's just really really nice so that app is also a favorite of mine another favorite y'all that i am going to give an honorable mention to is um walmart <laughs> walmart athleisure wear y'all walmart has been coming through i feel like i've shown y'all in so many vlogs but y'all have to go to walmart to get some athleisure I, I can't even think of like all the stuff I bought this month that I've loved. But I bought at least like four items that I've absolutely adored. And so yeah, those are my favorites for the month. Kind of random. Maybe next time I'll have them a bit more organized. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I love. Oh, and then one last thing. My favorite book of the month. Honorable mention to the Breakup Book Club. This book right here, y'all. It's super good. It's about a book club and they do the breakup book club obviously it's about a book club <laughs> but it is about a book club and all it's like different women and men and it's just like going into each of their stories and all of them are going through breakups and separations like one lady's getting divorced one lady her like they're just all going through a season of singleness and it's just really cool to see them come together in this book club because there's like older ladies there's younger ladies there's ladies that have been married for 40 years there's ladies that have been single and so it just was a really cute book and i really did enjoy it it made me laugh so that is the book i'll say was my favorite of the month definitely stuck out to me one book y'all that i did not like and tell me if you've read it it's called black girls must die exhausted i don't know it did not do it for me <laughs> It did not do it for me, y'all. And I felt so bad because I'm the type of person when I start a book, I'm going to make myself finish it. So I started this book and I'm like reading it and I'm like, I'm not enjoying this. But I felt so committed to it at this point. I'm like, I got to stick with it. I got to stick with it. So I'm reading this book I don't even freaking like. <laughs> and then I got on Goodreads and I was so happy because everybody on Goodreads was like, yeah, this isn't a good book. <laughs> Or, like, it was, like, women that look like me were agreeing. Like, yeah, this really isn't for us. <laughs> and it was, like, a lot of trauma in it. And I just did not enjoy it. It was, like, I thought it was going to be a little dramatic, a little drama. But it was just real a vibe killer. So, not a fan of it. I hate to do it to the sis. But, yeah, I didn't like that one. Anyway, y'all, that is all I have for y'all for this video. Thank y'all so much for all the love and support. I'm so grateful for y'all. Thank you for your patience when I go through my seasons. Ron will be posting, but we are back for September. It's my birthday month. Also, y'all, don't forget tonight we do have a live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time to celebrate the 10K challenge, y'all. So get your water, your whiskey, your wine, whatever you want to drink, some juice, and we're going to celebrate us making it to the end of August, y'all. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see y'all in the next one. Love you. Bye. Question, tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring your sally when I'm feeling lonely.